Hi, I'm Debbie Naylor with Unforgettable Stamping, and today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy birthday card featuring the Stipple Blossom stamp set and For You sentiment set. And um, it's going to, I'm going to show you how to use um, the Stampamajig to do two-step stamping. So let's get started. Okay, so today's card starts with a note card. And this is from the note card and envelope set. I use these all the time. You get a set of 20 cards that are pre-scored with matching envelopes. And I'm going to be using Whisper White today. The indented score line is here on the top, so you're going to want to fold that away from you. And that's going to give you the cleanest fold. And then just take a bone folder and make that a nice crisp fold. Okay, and I'm going to set that aside for now. And I want to show you how I, I created this panel. So I'm going to be using the Stippled Blossom stamp set, and the color palette that I'm using is um, Pink Pirouette and Crisp Cantaloupe for my flowers. Whenever you have a two-step stamp system of st stamps, you're going to have a solid image and a detail image. Now, common sense, because this is a darker image because the stamp is in black, you would think that the darker color would go with the solid, but in fact, you're going to use the lighter color with the solid image and then go over it with the detail image with the darker color. If you don't have two colors that coordinate well, like the pink pirouette and crisp cantaloupe, you can certainly do it with one color. You would just ink this stamp off once to make it lighter and use a second generation inking for the solid image and then go full strength with your detail. But today I'm going to show you um, how to do this using the pink pirouette and the, the crisp cantaloupe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink up full strength my pink pirouette and I just want to kind of turn this image to fill up my space. I'm just going to do a couple of roses. have one here and maybe one over here. Now this card is based on one that I did, um, I posted a couple days ago for the color challenge for my team. Um, I'm changing the colors a little bit. I'm using the same blush, blushing, no I'm sorry, pink pirouette and crisp cantaloupe for um, my flowers, but I'm, I'm changing the pear pizzazz um, from the baked brown sugar, and I'm not using Night of Navy today. Okay, so now that I've gotten my um, solid image flowers stamped, I need to do the detail image with the crisp cantaloupe. Now, it's really hard to eyeball this, this set. I have a couple stampers who stamp with me who are great at doing it freehand. I, however, am not. So, I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools for two-step stamping, that's the stamp -a jig system. And you get a, um, a really thick, heavy window sheet, and then you have your little placement guide here. So before I even start stamping, we need to stamp the guide. So I like to always put my, um, my placement thing like this, and then my window sheet fits up here like this. Some people like to do it, you know, this way or whatever, but always do it the same way so that when you're stamping, you never have to think, oh, now which way did I do it? Always do it the same way. So I always like to hold it here like this when I'm stamping. So um, we're going to do it this way. Now, crisp cantaloupe is not going to show up really well on here. So I'm going to actually use a darker color for my first stamping. And I'm just going to, you want to take the wood stamp here and put it into the corner and then come straight down. The plastic sheet is fit in this corner here. So do you see how I get that look? And then um, I'm just going to stamp off just clean my stamp real quickly so that I don't get a blue. Okay. Now that I've done that I want to take my piece and I want it to be fixed here to the scrap paper. So um, I'm just going to take some of the two-way glue pen and I'm just going to scribble a little bit on the back. It's two-way glue because just like the Tombow, if you let it dry to clear, it becomes tacky. And I can set it down on my grid paper without it moving. Okay. So now that I've done that, you're going to then take this piece and you're going to line it up. 
so because I did it with the blue it's a lot easier to see so you can see how I want to line it up to match and then I'm going to take this I don't know if you can see but I'm going to take this and I'm going to fit it right there in that corner and then I'm going to remove this window sheet and I'm going to ink with the crisp cantaloupe and I'm going to go into the corner and come straight down and then it's lined up perfectly. So now that I've done that I'm going to take it again and it's actually easier to have your stamp inked up to begin with um, and then I'm going to come over here and you're just going to keep turning it until it lines up and again I'm going to take my placement guide and hold it down and then take this sheet away feed the wood stamp down in the corner and come straight down. Give that a second to dry. And then I'm going to come up here, line it up again. Just like that. Hold it in place until you get your black placement guide in place. Pull that away. So you can see why stamping it with the Island Indigo makes it a lot easier than if I had done it in the Crisp Cantaloupe. Just make sure that before you ink it in your Crisp Cantaloupe that you clean your stamp. Okay, then the last one. Just gonna... Let's see if I can get that... Whoops. Get that lined up. Okay, there we go. Now, because I'm, a lot of times when you're stamping a bigger piece, this placement guide will hold your piece of paper down, but because I'm way over here for my placement, that's why I wanted to stick down this piece with the two-way glue to hold it down on my scrap paper so that it wouldn't move. And there you go. So that's how easy it is to use the two-way, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the stamp -a jig So now that I've done that, I want to go in and stamp my leaves. So for the leaves, I'm going to be using Pear Pizzazz. And I'm going to show you how. I just want to use Pear Pizzazz for both. So I'm going to, I'm going to ink it up, but then I'm going to stamp it off. And I'm just going to stamp so it's a much lighter. Again, stamp off. Now I'm kind of turning my head to the side so that I can see underneath my stamp to see where I want to place the, the leaves. I'm just going to do one more right here. I could certainly use the stamp on my jig again, um, but I'm being lazy and I don't want to, so <laughs> you don't always have to. And now that I've done the solid image, I'm going to use this detail. And I trim my stamps when I get them. Um, and so because I trim it so closely, it's really easy if I kind of turn my head to the side, I can line those up using the points of the leaves pretty well. And if I miss, it's okay. I mean, it looks okay. But you can see here how using second generation and first generation, it does look like I have two colors, but they're going to coordinate beautifully because they are in fact the same color. It's just different um, gradations of the same color. And so I'm just going to do one more. Okay. And now having done that, I just want to fill in the space using this um, detail for the small flower with the Island Indigo. But it's kind of dark full strength, so I'm going to stamp off on my paper first and then fill in. Like that. I might even put one right here in the middle. Okay, so having done that, um, I can pull this aside. And I'm just going to stamp one little blue flower on my envelope. And I'll set that aside to dry. Okay, so now that all the stamping is done, I want to make sure that's completely dry. I want to give it just a second because I want to add dazzling diamonds to kind of accent parts of the flower. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this using my Tombow. 
to the Island Indigo mat. Now I create paired a project sheet for this card. It will be going out in my newsletter today to my subscribers. If you would like to get that and you're not a current subscriber, please be sure to do so on my blog. It's unforgettablestamping.typad.com. In the upper right-hand corner, there's a place where you can enter your email and it says subscribe me. If you subscribe after this email has gone out today, um, I do put a link in my email, uh, my, my weekly newsletter, that will um, allow you to go to the file and download it to your computer. Um, <clears throat> if you're getting this... Uh, or if you're seeing this video and you want to get that and my newsletter has already gone out, just send me an email directly and I'll be happy to send that to you. Okay, so now that we've done this, I want to um, take my two-way glue pen again. This is the best way I find to add the Dazzling Diamonds. Um, I personally like to put my Dazzling Diamonds in a bigger container like this and I have this cute little spoon um, that I picked up at... A scrapbook convention but you could certainly I don't know find a little yogurt spoon or something um, just to keep it just makes it easier I think um, but the two-way glue pen is perfect because it dries pretty quickly and um, for that reason you want to work in a little bit of a, the, the card at a time so I'm just gonna do these little dots here on the center of my roses and then I'm gonna take it over to my and this is why I like to have a bigger container because then you can just flick it from behind and um, it kind of contains the glitter mess. Then I'm going to go around to these little blue flowers and add some glitter because glitter makes everything fun. And just flick it from behind and you can also take it and rub it face down and that's going to make that glitter so I don't know if you can see that or not but it gives just a little bit of an accent of the glitter okay so now the last step is to add my sentiment to my card and I'm going to use the birthday wishes from the For You stamp set. This is one that I find myself using over and over and over again. I think this is a great sentiment set for any card maker. Very inexpensive set. Um, I think it's $16.95 in wood mount, $13.95 in clear mount. Um, but you get a hello, thank you, birthday wishes, and thinking of you. And that pretty much covers many of the cards that you're going to be sending out to friends. So, um, this particular card, I, I always find myself needing birthday cards, so I wanted to make a birthday card. And I love our grid paper. You can get 100 sheets of these for, I think, $10.95. I love this because I don't always mount my, my stamps straight when I attach them. Um, so what I like to do is I like to line up along one of these lines my wood mount stamp set, and then... I can see if that's straight. It's pretty straight. It kind of comes down just a little bit. And that way I know when I go to stamp on my card if I need to make any adjustments. So, just going to stamp that and hope it's straight. It's pretty straight. Again, I always tell my customers, when you're stamping a card, if it's not perfect, it's okay. It just shows that it's a handmade card. And Really, anybody who gets a hand stamp card in the mail is going to be thrilled to get it, whether everything is lined up straight or not. So don't be so hard on yourself. If it's not perfect, it's okay. They're going to love getting it from you. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm ready to put my card together. So first things first, I'm going to um, take my stamp and dimensionals because I want this raised up a little bit on the back. And I'm just going to add a dimensional in each of the corners and one in the center and just peel these little guys off if they're hard to come off just stick your fingernail down in there and then see how easily they come off little trick I learned okay that one doesn't want to come off 
and I broke my fingernails, so it makes it a lot harder to take these little guys off. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to center that up on my card, just like that. And I wanted to add just a little bit more color, so I pulled out my, um, this is the Crisp Cantaloupe Thick Baker's Twine. It really has some good substance to it without taking away a lot of um, area on your card, because I don't have a lot of room for regular ribbon, so I thought it'd be great for a little pop of color without adding too much bulk. So what I'm going to do, normally I take a piece of ribbon and I hide it behind, but rather than to do that, I'm going to take this piece. And I'm just going to wrap it around through the inside of the card, and I'm just going to attach it here on the front. So I'm just going to tie a little double knot, oops, fingers don't want to work today, and then just pull it tight. And then I'm going to take my craft scissors and just trim the ends. Oops. And there you go. A quick and easy card. And then again, too, if you don't like where the knot is, you can just open the card up and move that up a little bit if you want. Okay. Now I'm happy with it. So this is a quick and easy card using the two-step stamping system. Very easy to just do one card, but if you want to do multiples, what I would suggest is that you take a big piece of 8.5 by 11 Whisper White cardstock. Because of the way I measured this, it's um, three and a half inches by two and three quarters. You could certainly do a full sheet, and if you cut it um, into three, two and a third, two and three quarter inch strips, and then you'll have three strips this way because two and three quarters goes into eight and a half three times. You'll have a little quarter inch strip left over. Turn it on its side and then you can get three, three and a half inch pieces on the 11 inch side, which will leave you another half inch strip left over. So very little waste and you'll actually get nine panels like this. And then once you've done that, if you feel like there's some spaces where you need to go back and fill in, then you can go back and fill in. But you could certainly put together nine cards very quickly, change up the sentiments. It would be a great gift set to give to somebody, um, some pretty note cards, or even just to have on hand to give to a friend. So I hope you give this, this technique a try. Two-step stamping is a lot of fun. Um, it's certainly easy to change out the color combination and you can come up with a whole lot of different looks. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you give this a try and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.